In the United Kingdom, the Super Minis Ford Fiesta and Vauxhall Corsa are extremely popular, in fact, they are the two cars of any kind that have sold the most in the country. This is due to the fact that, despite their small size, they are extremely adaptable and come in a variety of models that have something for almost everyone. However, which one is superior? We compare the Fiesta and Corsa in key areas in this comparison guide. We're looking at the most recent versions of both cars, the Corsa and Fiesta, which went on sale in 2017 and 2019. Technology and the interior of the Fiesta and Corsa are affordable cars, but they come standard with a lot of technology. Connectivity for smartphones, touchscreen infotainment displays, air conditioning, and cruise control are included in even the most basic models. A digital driver's display, sat-nav, and a rear-view camera are all features of a number of models. The top-of-the-line Fiesta Vignale even has leather seats for a touch of luxury. Other super minis than the Fiesta and Corsa have interiors that are more colorful and interesting than the Fiesta. However, the interiors of both vehicles are very user-friendly, feel solid, and look sophisticated. The infotainment systems in both vehicles are responsive and simple to use. However, the Fiesta's display is better positioned, right in the driver's line of sight, high up on the dashboard. Because the Corsa's display is lower on the dashboard, you might have to look away from the road to see it. The dashboard of the Fiesta also displays a little bit more design flair. Practicality and boot space The Fiesta and Corsa are very similar in terms of practicality. On a long trip, four adults can sit comfortably, and five adults can even fit. But if you're tall, the Corsa is better because it has more headroom than the Fiesta. Only five doors, two on each side and the boot lid, are available on the Corsa, which makes it easier to get to the back seats. The Fiesta is also available with three doors, one on each side and the boot lid, for a total of five doors. Despite the fact that the front seats tilt forward to facilitate access, getting into the back seats of the three-door Fiesta can be more challenging. The Fiesta Active, which has been given an SUV-like makeover, may be a good choice for you if you like to sit in a higher position. The Corsa has more boot space than the Fiesta, but it's only about the size of a shoebox, compared to the Fiesta's 303 liters, the Corsa has 309 liters. In practice, both have enough room for your weekly grocery shopping and travel luggage. The back seats in both vehicles fold down to provide a usefully larger space, however, if you frequently stuff things in, you might want to consider purchasing a larger vehicle. Which one is safer to drive? The Corsa and the Fiesta are similar in many ways in terms of how they feel to drive. They are simple, light, and smooth, making them ideal for cruising the city while still being substantial enough to feel secure and stable on highways. Because of their small size, parking is a breeze. A wide range of gasoline and diesel engines are available for both vehicles, resulting in strong acceleration both in the city and on the open road. Additionally, a manual or automatic gearbox can be selected. The Fiesta is the better car if you really enjoy driving because it is so much fun to drive. It is agile, responsive, and engaging in a way that few cars can match. Especially the sporty ST version of the Fiesta, which is widely considered to be one of the best hot hatchbacks available. Which is cheaper to own? Owning a Fiesta or Corsa is a good investment. They are available with a wide variety of fuel-efficient gasoline and diesel engines and start out at a very affordable price. Official averages indicate that gasoline Fiestas get 46 to 57 miles per gallon and diesel Fiestas get 54 to 65 miles per gallon. Diesel Corsars achieve 62 to 70 miles per gallon, while petrol Corsars achieve 45 to 54 miles per gallon. Costs for road tax, insurance, and maintenance are all very low. The Corsa is available as a completely electric vehicle, unlike the Fiesta. The Corsa E has a usefully long range of 209 miles and can be fully charged in just 50 minutes from a public 150 kilowatts charger. Verdict the Ford Fiesta and the Vauxhall Corsa are only separated by small margins. What you want from a car will determine which one is best for you. The Corsa is more affordable, slightly more practical, and offers a zero emissions option that the Fiesta does not. The electric Corsa E is also available. On the other hand, the Fiesta is more fun to drive, 
has a better infotainment system, is cheaper to run, and costs less to maintain. Although both are excellent automobiles, the Fiesta is by far our favorite.